सो दिस इज द एटीन लेक्चर ऑफ दिस कोर्स इन कंटिन्यूशन विद द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वेर आई डिस्कस द यूनिवर्सल गेट्स विद यू आई टोल्ड यू दैट नैंड गेट एंड नॉर गेट्स आर कॉल्ड यूनिवर्सल गेट्स द रीजन बींग बिकॉज एनी बुलन फंक्शन कैन बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दीज गेट्स ओनली विदाउट इन्वॉल्विंग एनी अदर गेट और आई कैन से दैट आइदर नैंड और नैर गेट कैन बी यूज और कैन बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड एज एनी अदर गेट दैट दे कैन बी ट्रीटेड विद सम मॉडिफिकेशन एज एनी अदर गेट हाउ आई टोल्ड यू हाउ नैंड कैन बी यूज एज नॉट नैंड एज एंड नैंड एज और सिमिलरली नॉर ऑल्सो एज नॉट नॉर एज और एंड नॉर एज एंड गेट एंड आई कंक्लूडेड विद दैट हाउ नैंड गेट कैन बी यूज एज अ एक्जॉर गेट एक्जॉर गेट मीन्स आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन अ आउटपुट इफ अट I have two inputs. I am interested in a output a b bar plus a bar b. This is what I am interested in. That I obtain a function a b bar plus a bar b with the help of NAND gate only. At the same time, I discuss with you that if you see here, I discuss with you that any SOAP form, a SOAP form. can be implemented directly by nand gates only if you have a same so a function in soap form it can be directly implemented by nand gates only and a pos form can be implemented directly by nor gate only by nor gates only what do you mean by this term directly or indirectly i'll just tell you so and at the same time this function a b bar plus a bar b i can realize this with the help of basic gates these are the two functions a and b and for this i need a b bar plus a bar b so this is a not gate which is here it is representing a bar and this is representing b bar here this complete line is of a bar this complete line is of b bar this complete line is for a this complete line is for b so here i need a b bar a b bar means a b bar here you will have a bar b this is a bar b and the final output which you will obtain here is nothing but simply this complete circuit is acting as a xor gate equivalently xor gate is like this if the two inputs are a and b the output is a xor b which is equal to a b bar plus a bar b now i am interested in this i am interested that this function must be implemented by nand gate only now i told you that for nand gate if a function is in soap form and this is already in soap form if you see this a b bar plus a bar b is soap form this is soap so i need a nand gate for this particular function i need a nand gate for this particular function and overall in spite of this i need a nand gate in spite of this i need a nand gate and in spite of this also i'll require a nand gate here so what i do i simply draw this figure with the help of nand gates only that is a b bar plus a bar b so what i do this is say this is line of a this is line of a and i need a bar also so in spite of using not gate i'll use a nand gate here also here also i'm using a nand gate which is acting as a not gate so this complete line is representing a bar then another this is say line for b this line is representing the function uh, the variable b here and again i need a b bar so i use a nand gate here and this is b bar it means that here i'll obtain this in this line in this particular line i am getting a and here i'll get a bar and here i'll get b bar now i need a b bar plus a bar b it is a soap form so for this particular function i need a nand gate i need a nand gate here where the input should be a b bar so it is a here they are representing a and this is b bar it means here i am getting a and here i am getting b bar similarly look at this term a bar b i need another nand gate for this i need another nand gate for this and the input to this nand gate is another product here which is equal to a bar b so from here i'll get a bar and from here i'll get b 
I hope this is clear to you. This is A bar, this is B. So, and overall I give it to this another NAND gate here. Another NAND gate here. And this is my final output. And you will obtain that this final output is nothing. The output at this point which you will obtain is equal to A B bar plus A bar B. You can cross check the result also. See the output here. This is A bar. This is A bar and this is B. So at this point you will have A B bar whole bar. This is A bar B whole bar. Give it here. You will get the final result at this stage. Uh, you will get A B bar plus A bar B. So this is how NAND can be used as XOR gate. Now next comes NOR as XOR. How NOR gate? How can I implement an XOR gate with the help of NOR gate only? So next article is NOR as exclusive OR gate. Exclusive OR gate. In other words, now I am interested again. My target is to obtain this output. That is this output Y is equal to A B bar plus A bar B. I am interested in this actually. Now this is in SOAP form. I am interested in realizing this SOAP form with the help of NOR gate only. And as I said that you can obtain any Boolean function by NOR gate only provided it is in POS form. See again this is a statement. A POS form can be implemented directly by NOR gates or I can say with the help of NOR gates I can realize any POS form directly. But this function is not in POS form pos form it is in soap form so let's find out the corresponding pos form of this just let me show you how to find the corresponding form i am interested to realize this function i am interested in realizing this function that is y is equal to a b bar plus a bar b and what i do i take the complement of this that is what i do a b bar plus a bar b whole complement. I am interested in the whole complement of this particular function. And the complement of this function will be equal to this will be equal to a bar plus b dot a plus b bar. It is how to find the complement of any function by shortcut I can say although I can expand this uh, I have done this expansion by boolean function but I want you to cross check this whether I am get whether this result is correct or not so this is y bar and now this function this particular function is nothing it is in pos form so I can say this y is this then y bar is equal to this much if y is equal to this much I am rewriting this figure here uh, this uh, expression here that is you will have this y bar if y is equal to this much so value of y bar is equal to it is equal to a bar plus b dot a plus b bar so it is a bar plus b dot a plus b bar how to find, I will tell you the shortcut to find the complement of any function of any function just after this article. Now, it is very clear now this is in POS form and I can realize this with the help of NOR gate. I will I'll require a NOR gate for this function. I will require a NOR gate for this function and overall I will require a NOR gate for this particular operation here. For this operation, for this operation, for this operation. So again I need A, B, A bar and B bar. So I draw a line. Say this is a line for a and I need a NOT gate but not NOT gate directly I need a NOT gate with the help of NOR gate I don't want to use any other gate so this is your A bar I short this similarly say this is the line for B this line is representing the variable B and I use another NOT gate here with the help of NOR gate it means here I will get B bar. This complete line, this line is representing A bar, this line is representing B bar, this line is representing A and this line is representing B. 
so for this function i use a nor gate for this particular function i use a nor gate and the input to this nor gate this input the input to this nor gate is a bar and b so this is a bar let me use another color this is a bar what i am obtaining here is a bar and this is b this is b here another nor gate for this particular function another nor gate for this i use another nor gate here and the input to this nor gate should be a and b bar this is a and this is b bar this is a and this is b bar here and now i give it to another nor gate here i apply it to another nor gate now the point is that this is not y i am interested in this y but what i obtain here is y bar but i need y if i complement this again i'll get y so what i do i use another nor gate here i use another nor gate here and you'll get the final expression y which is equal to this much this y is equal to this y if i say value of this y is nothing it is a b bar plus a bar b so this is how this xor gate can be implemented with the help of nor gate so i have used that nand gate and nor gate can be used as any other gate you don't require any any particular gate for this now let's come to one more point here how to find the complement of a function or the shortcut to find the complement of a function i'll say shortcut to find complement of a boolean function of a boolean function and there are only two steps for this first step it says that complement every variable complement every variable that is if you have variable a interchange this by a bar and if you have a bar then put a complement on, on this also and the second step interchange a dot by a plus and a plus by a dot that's all for example what i have done here just see here this expression was given to me y example here y is equal to this was the function a b bar plus a bar b i need y bar although this y bar can be found by this y bar i assume assume this as p and this as q p plus q whole bar is equal to p bar dot q bar and now i substitute the value of p and q and apply the simply de morgan theorem here and but i'll apply a shortcut here what i am doing first of all i complement every variable first thing is complement every variable so what i do in spite of a b is here a and b is here a b is here i complement every it is b bar second of second function i have a bar b so what i do i complement this i complement this i complement this i complement this and i complement this first of all secondly what i do i interchange plus and dots here so in spite of this dot there is a plus in spite of this dot there is a plus and in spite of this plus there is a dot so this is the overall function i can say and now i say a bar plus b double bar is b dot this is a double bar is a plus b bar and this is how i have written this function so you can find the complement of any function by simply first of all complementing every variable and interchanging the plus and dots you you can find the complement of any function how big function whatever how big function there is how big the function is given to you so you can find it very easily so i hope that this is clear to you let's come to another few definitions that i'll cover here and there are four terms that are treated all together 
first i'll discuss min terms and max terms what do you mean by a min term and what do you mean by max term then i'll discuss canonical soap form and canonical post form but first i'll consider this what do you mean by this min term and what do you mean by this max term now suppose i have a function suppose i have a boolean function say f and which is a function which is a boolean expression which is a function of say three variables it can be n number of variables and for simplicity i am taking only three variables a b and c suppose you have three variables a b and c are the three variables now i make a table for this what do you mean by min terms and max terms i'll just explain this you have three variables a b and c now three variables means there are eight possibilities eight a a variable can have only two values either 0 or 1 in boolean functions so either this is 0 0 0 then second is 0 0 1 3 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 these are the only eight possibilities that you have with this three inputs Let me draw this line here. These are the three possibilities. Eight possibilities. I'm sorry. With these three inputs, and how to make the truth table is simply you write down the decimal equivalent. That's all. Eight possibilities mean decimal from zero to seven. Had it been four variables, sixteen possibilities. Two to the power four. Decimal numbers from zero to seven. If you see that this zero zero zero. is representing decimal equivalent 0 this is decimal equivalent 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 and this is 7 here just see now what i do if i represent every variable every 0 by a complement and 1 by the variable that is what i am representing here this is 0 this is 0 and this is 0 so it is a bar b bar c bar i hope this is clear to you this is 0 0 0 means a bar value of a is 0 value of b is 0 here value of c is 0 this is a bar b bar and since this is 1 so i write this as c 1 means variable and 0 means complement so again this will be a bar this is b and this is c bar then this will be a bar b c This one will be a b bar c bar c zero zero b bar c bar. This is a b bar c, and this is a b c bar, and this last one will be a b and c. Now, if I write this in its decimal equivalent form, these are known as min terms. these are known as min term and these are represented by small m with a suffix n here where n represents its decimal equivalent that is what does this represent actually here decimal equivalent is 0 by small m it is represented as m0 decimal equivalent 0 this is decimal equivalent is 1 0 0 1 is 1 this is m2 this is m3 this is m4 m5 decimal equivalent is 5 this is decimal equivalent is 6 this is called m6 and this is m7 so these are called min terms so min terms are nothing min terms are the product of variables if you see these are product these are the product of variable not only variable but all the variables all a b c are involved everywhere neither a is missing anywhere neither b is missing nor c is missing so where it is a product of all the variables where a variable is represented by the one is represented by the variable and zero is represented by the complement of the variable these are called min terms now on the other hand on the other hand what i do if i reverse this process just see what i in this case 
these are main terms represented by small m now what i do here i represent this zero by the variable this zero by the variable and one by the complement that is i write this as a b c and i put a plus sign here so i made it as i make it a sum of variables so sum of variables is max term these are called max term max term denoted by capital m with a suffix n here a plus b plus c if you see this will be a plus b plus c bar this is a plus b bar plus c i am representing a zero by the variable and one by the complement of the variable so again this will be a plus b bar plus c bar this function will be a bar plus b plus c this function will be a bar plus b plus c bar this function will be a bar plus b bar plus c and this function will be a bar plus b bar plus c bar these all are known as max terms and if you see okay i'll write this first this is represented as m1 this is m2 this is m3 max term with decimal equivalent sorry m0 m0 m1 m2 this will be m3 this is m4 m5 capital m6 and capital m7 capital m are representing max terms so max terms are the sum of these variables of a boolean functions all variables of a boolean functions and min terms are the product of these variables and observe one more thing that the complement mn is the complement of this the complement of this is equal to this much just see if i find the bar of this complement of this function it is equal to this so they are complement of each other so i hope that this min terms and max terms are clear to you min terms are product of variables where a variable represented by zero and complement of the variable represented by one and max terms are the sum of variables where a variable is represented simply by a zero and the complement of the variable is represented by one so these are min terms and max terms i'll continue with this in the next lecture and i'll tell you about the soap canonical soap and canonical post form or what do you mean by sum of min terms or product of max terms so i stop at this point thanks for the time being